So, no matter if you smash them, bash them, or crash them, a whole smile on that body shop will put them back together again, just like that. So, when your car takes a licking, call the big chicken. Call Smiling Ed. What a dweeb. Get your butt moving, Rico. It's the first day, the last chance to graduate with the rest of your class. Give me a break. Hey, I didn't make something myself by partying all night, and neither will you. I mean, how do you think I got my own fleet of trucks? How do you think I got my own chicken suit? Work. Work, boy, work. Chicken suits aren't just hatched. Now either shape up or ship out. Okay. <sighs> Your mother will have breakfast in 15 minutes. If you're not down by then, forget about dinner. Mm, breakfast. That too. These citywide test scores are an embarrassment. You're absolutely right, Mr. Paul. Shut up, Fraser. Sorry. You know where your last semester students scored in driver's education, Pearl? In the root cellar. Lower than a snail's tail. Howard Evans from JFK High actually calls me on the phone and cackles at me <laughs> like some demented loon. Right on, Mr. Pete. Shut up, Fraser. I'm, 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 I'm having a bad year, Wendell. Mm -hmm. Well, it could get worse, Pearl. You're pulling my school's average down. And that's not making the superintendent of schools happy. And when he's not happy, he takes away my sports program. And that makes me very unhappy. And when I'm very unhappy, you know what that makes you. Mm -hmm. Miserable? Now, I ask you, is this the office of a sports nut? No, 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 no. It is the office of a principal who happens to understand the proper balance between athletics and education. Hmm? Hmm. Now, the fact is that sports are very, very, very important. They teach our young people positive lessons, like the importance of physical fitness, the thrill of competition, the elation of winning, combativeness, aggressiveness. Just the values they need to know when they get out there on that freeway. Exactly. Fraser, yes. you are a Absolutely right. Wait. Wipe that off. Mom, I'm 16 years old. Oh, you don't have to keep reminding me of that, Vanessa. Other girls wear makeup. Other girls are not as pretty as you are. You will have plenty of time to cover your face when you're older. Oh. Why do you have to be so rough on the kids? What do you mean, rough? They're not careful. It'll turn out like you. I'm warning you, Maxine. You're going to wear this grapefruit. Oh, yeah? Where? I know. You think I'm overprotective, don't you? Mom, you're driving me to school, and we only live four blocks away. What do you think? Well, I think you don't know the neighborhood yet. Mom, you've got assignments. What is it? Permission to take driver's ed. <sighs> Vanessa, we've been through all this before. Mom, I am not a child! We will talk about it tomorrow! No, I would really like to discuss no. it right now. I'm not talking. You pass this course and you'll drive to Princeton, son, in a brand new convertible. Dad, 
Yeah, do you know the stats? People get killed driving. I'd much rather walk. Sure. Don't pass driver's ed, you can't go to college. But that's not fair. I'm an all-A student. Doesn't that count for anything? Make the rules, Chan. You need driver's ed to graduate. Besides, new car will certainly help you with the ladies. Face it, Dad. You and I, we just have different priorities. At this juncture in my life, ladies are just not that important to me. You've got one last chance. Who, me? No, him. Shape up your driver's ed scores or it's over for you at this school. Not me. No, 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 him. Now look here. This is a serious matter. Careers are at stake. Reputation. More importantly, my pension. Oh, uh, uh, Wendell. Larry, Larry, never interrupt a tirade. I lose my train of thought. Now, where was I? In... Right, right. Now, listen here, listen. I want to talk to you. I want you to know something. I want you to know I consider you a friend. But I've fired friends before, and I'll do it again. Wendell, I need an advance all night next month's pay. Anyone ever told you that you have a rotten sense of timing? You're this close to being fired? And you have the nerve to ask for an advance? You, 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 you can't fire me. I'm under enormous pressure. My ex-wife, she, she, she needs new clothes for a trip. The divorce took a lot out of her, so I'm sending her to Hawaii. I thought she divorced you. Well, 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 just because you divorce somebody doesn't mean, mean you, you, you don't love them. I guess I just don't understand modern romance. Now, look here, Larry. I like you as a person. As a teacher, that's a different story. But all the same, I'd like you to stay here at Hamilton. Oh, I'm sure we can trust Larry to get back on the team, Mr. P. Oh, yes, yes. Sure, Abner, sure. The problem is the superintendent insists that I attend some cockamamie conference. And I won't be here to check up on you, Pearl. Abner will be acting principal while I'm gone. However, I'm bringing in a heavy hitter for driver's education. Who, uh, Mario Andretti? <laughs> E. W. Savage. E. W. Savage. Savage. I tell the hard to drop up behind a steering wheel. Look, look, we, we, we don't need Savage. I, I can handle it. You've got six weeks to save your job and my sports program. You teach those kids how to drive and pass their tests with high scores, or out you go. I think these little faculty chats are really great for morale, Mr. P. How's your eggs? Fine, Mom. How's it look? The son of smiling Ed Connor failing driver's ed twice because he couldn't pass his exam without smashing up his car. Nico, if you don't pass this time, you won't graduate. Bummer. You won't get your license either. I never stopped him from driving before. Get him off my back, please, Mom. Uh, as long as your father is putting a roof over your head and uh, feeding your face, You'll play by his rules. You're not going to eat the eggs. Come here. I got something to show you. Come on. Smiling Ed's perfect body shop. It's our new ad campaign. Kind of grabs you, don't it? Thought of it myself. Hey, come on. I'll drive you to school. Dad, do you have any idea how difficult it is to be your son? Get in the truck. <laughs>